Wow, my baby did it. I thought I would never see this day. It has been a long road, but well worth it. And to think, in a few days, my name will change from Lion to Gervais. Oh my God, y'all are doing such a great job in here. Oh, don't you look good. <laughs> Thank you, Dee Dee. You know, I gotta look good for my boots. Girl, the last time I looked like that, I was pregnant with twins. <laughs> no, baby, it wasn't the clothes that got you in trouble. It's when you take them off. Baby. Whoa, whoa, TMI, TMI. This is why I hate hanging with married people. Does anybody want to hear all that? Hey, Deja, don't get mad because you don't have a man. Pepper, trust me. If I wanted a man, I know how to get one. Yeah, but you just have a hard time keeping one. And you can kiss my boo. Y'all stop. Stop. Leave Kadisha alone. There is nothing wrong with being single. Says the woman who's marrying a lawyer. Y'all smell that? I smell hate. With a touch of bitch assiness in the air. Oh, I'm about to whoop somebody's ass. Oh, I'm Hey, hey! How about we all get back to work before my boy comes? You put as much effort into working as you were talking, we'll be done by now. He's right. We need to have everything in place before he gets here. You know, when Deshaun starts making big money, you're going to have a hard time keeping the ladies off of him. Oh, please. I'm not even worried about that. We've been together since high school. And plus, you see what he's getting at night. You think he's going anywhere? <laughs> All right, now don't get knocked down off that ladder. Or stabbed. Okay, girl. There's a lot of thoughts out there with bios just like that. Trust me, he knows who butters his bread. I got him on lock. <laughs> okay! Yeah, yeah, girl. <laughs> well, we gotta Wait, get this best again. Just put a whole bunch of balloons just everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you been messing with that same streamer for four hours. Like, let's go. <laughs> Man, so what's the plan? Since you're gonna be a big time lawyer? I don't even know, Trey. I mean, I got a few offers from different firms to consider. Hey, just don't forget us little people, we make it big, dog. Come on now, Craig. You know that'll never happen. Yeah, especially me. I know you can't forget about me. I helped save you from marrying that crazy girl in shape. Man, that's right. When she said she wanted to break your back, I believe it, man, big as she was. <laughs> Surprise! Surprise, baby! Come back from Pat Noir. Wow! What is this? I just decided to throw a little something to celebrate my baby. Yes. Right. Congratulations! Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Come on, Deshaun. And she wouldn't let me open the bed until you got here. <laughs> oh, no my bad, my bad. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> hey, go look at you in the beers, man. Here. All right. Black meat beers. I am going to thirsty for beers. But as far as I was concerned, life had already dealt me a life sentence. From the man whom I trusted, a man I loved. We traveled together. We had businesses together. Who was gonna get married? HIV? Oh my God. Can I have children? Am I gonna be able to have kids? This is what I wanted. 
My life is like over now. What about my job? What about when I go to work? Are they gonna wanna sit next to me when they find out that I have HIV? Are they gonna move my desk? Am I gonna be isolated from everybody else? And my family, are they gonna have anything to do with me? Are they gonna wanna touch me? But I knew if I would've pulled that trigger, it wouldn't have changed the fact that I was diagnosed with the HIV virus. But I decided instead that it's all good. Hello, Ms. Lyons. I've really enjoyed your speech. It's nice to meet you. My name is Wendy, Wendy Wright. When I saw your sign in the hallway about your session today, I think it may have saved my life. Hi, Wendy. It's nice to meet you as well. What do you mean by save your life? Well, I ran away from home when I was 17 to go live with this guy. I dropped out of school. I, I just, just ran off with him. Everything was good for a while. Then he started hitting me and staying gone for nights at a time and no calls or anything. Oh my God, no one deserves that. I'm pregnant and just like you, I've been diagnosed with the HIV virus. I know he gave it to me because he's the only one I've ever been with. He works here and I came here today to kill him. I brought a gun, it's in my purse. Oh honey, you can't let anyone have that kind of power over your life. Thank God you were here today. It was as if you were talking directly to me. Before I met him, I had goals and dreams. I wanted to be a doctor. I wanted to go to the prom. I wanted the fantasy marriage. But then I was stupid and I let him take that all away from me. So now what do I do? Where do I go from here? Where do you want to go? If you can do one thing right now, what would it be? Well, I would get my GED, go to college, become a doctor. And now that I'm pregnant, I want to be a pediatrician. So what's stopping you? I don't know. I mean, my parents won't even speak to me. I don't have any friends. I don't have anywhere to go. I really just want to go home. Then let's go. I'll take you home. Home? To my parents' house? They'd never allow that. My dad said I made my bed hard and now I have to lie in it. We gonna go get my car? But first, you gonna give me the gun that's in your purse before you do something that you gonna really regret. And we're going to talk to your parents together. Who is it? Mrs. Wright? Yes, how can I help you? I'm here with your daughter. I'm sorry, you must have the wrong address. We don't have a daughter. Mrs. Wright, you can speak to Wendy now, face to face, or you can speak to her at a grave site. It's up to you. Fine. Come in. Hi, Mom. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Elise, Miss Elise Lyons. Well, Miss Lyons, I can assure you that whatever she has told you, we've heard it all before. You see, she doesn't want help. She wants a pity party. I see. So you never made mistakes in your life? No, no, you see, my business is none of your business. No, Mama, but it is mine. Look, I know I've made mistakes. I've made a lot of mistakes, okay? But I love you. You're my parents. This is my home. What could you possibly say to make me trust you after everything that's happened? For one, you're going to be grandparents. Yes, yes, I'm having a baby. And also, I'm HIV positive. No. We must have talked for what seems like an eternity. A lot of healing took place that day. 
Wendy went back to school, got her GED, went to college, became a pediatrician. She had a beautiful little girl who's smart as a whip. Oh, I almost forgot. Wendy snagged her a good man and she had that dream wedding she always wanted. In life, sometimes you never know why you go through what you go through, especially when it's not your fault. Just know that God, and no matter what, don't ever give up. Your testimony in life is someone else's blessing in disguise. So I'm writing a self-help book to help more people who couldn't come to my seminar. Come on, girl. Big Daddy got on this Tarzan outfit. Let's get this thing. Okay, baby. I'm on my way right now. Well, that's my blessing calling. I gotta go. I let you into my world, but I cannot allow you in my bedroom.